Hey guys, this is Baskabari. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to load a flat file into the target uh, relational tables. Uh, after that, we'll see how to load multiple file flat files. But initially, we'll see how to load one flat file. Okay, let me start with the um, demo. So this is a file here, test.txt. We have like ID, name, locations with three records. Just let me import the data into this source, import from a file. Since it's a fi flat file, so I'm importing it from file. Okay. The first line should be the header rows, so I'm importing that. Delimited with a comma. Next. Comma is a delimiter. We can change the data type or anything size we need here. Click on finish. The target table it's already loaded. I'm just going to use the previous tables which I used here. This same table I'm going to use it. So right now there is no records here. Into the target sequence generator table. Go to the mapping and I'm going to create a mapping here. Create. Try and drop the source here. Okay, once the source is mapped, let me uh, load it to the target sequence generator. Mm. Save this into the repository. Uh, let me create a workflow for this. And moreover, if you're giving the path here, with you need to make sure that you are give the correct path here to this. Okay. Okay. Input type file. It's a direct. Since we am loading a single table, single text file, so I'm using the direct here. Source file directory. What is the source file directory? So source file directory is. Uh, uh this thing this is a default directory which we have there and that's a file name okay sequence generator load it into the target db click on apply oh, okay So let me run this. suppose if you want to load multiple files the same structure what we need to do we need to just uh, change the session property types there okay I'm going to just show you that okay I have three records here 
but these records have been not loaded into the target I'm not getting why what is the reason what happened to that let me see the designer again let me check the properties of this So there is some error there while loading that. Uh, because we have used the D key as a uh, not null field so it is failing that, that reason. So let us uh, uh, keep some uh, generator there, second generator. going to just load it there update the workflow here again restart the task it has loaded now successfully the problem was that the DK field was a primary key so it couldn't load the null values into this so I have loaded the tables on the tab uh, first table. So if you want to load these uh, multiple tables, if you have the same structures and you want to load all the people, what we need to do? Uh, I have your uh, uh, test one and uh, test and test three. So four, three to four files, flat files I have here to load it to the what one shot because all these have the same structure. This will be helpful in when we try to load it from the suppose we take an example as a bank, uh, we get uh, records from all of the areas but the structure which they follow should will be uh, equal same so to load load all those things we don't want to create all separate separate flat files we can create one connections to that and load all the list in the one flat files and uh, give to that so what would be changed the designer would be as it is the um, uh, workflow connections what i'm going to do i'm going to change the properties here to load all the files go to the mapping here source file uh, instead of this uh, input file uh, the source file type direct I'm going to give indirect and give the source file directly the same thing and the source file name the list of the file names which it contains there and moreover uh, what do you say uh, we can write even a command shell script to create this file instead of uh, your hard coding this okay click on apply and okay Okay, let me uh, truncate the table and show you before that. Truncate table. Okay, all the four flat files data should be loaded into this. So let me start with this. So if you learn monitor, it's it succeeded. So if you see in the tables you can see all the records that has been uh, loaded here from all the four flat files here also okay, okay. and uh, as i told that instead of uh, hard coding this flat file here we can use a command uh, task in the workflow can use this command task to create a shell script to, to generate that and you can uh, do this by dynamically if you have more files we don't want to again hard code that okay thank you for watching this and please do subscribe my blog